Hey horse lovers, welcome back to Free Spirit Equestrian. Today is the big day and we have all been waiting for Miss Ariel to finally go outside and go into the paddock. So she's been in quarantine for a little over two weeks because I purchased her from an auction. She wasn't handled at all, so I wanted to take my time to teach her a few basic skills before turning her out with the herd. I have been looking forward to this day. I cannot wait to see her move out in the paddock and stretch her legs a little bit. So today the plan is I'm gonna put her out with Bagheera for a couple days and I'm gonna talk you through what we're gonna do. And I think this will just be really beneficial to get her used to being outside, but also give her a little bit of comfort having a horse that's very quiet and older with her as well. So this is the paddock I'm gonna put her in, which is what we call our main paddock. You see here, I put two piles of hay that way they can eat separately or together, her and Bagheera. She'll be able to see Belle and Ezzy over there, which is great. So she'll get a little more familiar with her surroundings. I just think it makes more sense to put her with Bagheera first versus Ezzy because her and Ezzy are probably gonna be really excited and crazy together, which is great. But for day one, I just want her to get familiar. Then of course she has a run-in shed. I have the trough in the back. And she'll be able to see the other horses too. They're in the back pasture. Really big space here. So that'll be perfect for her for a couple days. Then after a couple days, I will introduce her to Belle and Esmeralda and that is gonna be amazing. Okay, so we're gonna prep the barn. We're gonna shut all of the barn doors. I'm gonna try to lead her out of the stall. Let's see how this goes. Fingers crossed it goes well. Ariel's right here. We need to turn some lights on first. Hi, Ariel. Oh my gosh, it's the big day. Hi, honey. We gotta brush you and then you're going out. You ready? Hi, baby. I'm so excited for you. Go through this aisle. Right through here. This is the indoor arena, so it's all blocked off. That way, if I do have to let go or something, she's still closed in because we're gonna shut this door as well. So then she'll go out into the paddock that I showed you earlier. So I think this is a good plan. Can't wait to see what she does when she's out. I know that the horses and Ezzy are gonna flip. Ezzy, you're gonna be so excited. So I'm going to brush Ariel up and then I'm gonna walk her out, okay? I'm so excited, horse lovers. I hope you are too. Not so bad living here, huh? She's gonna be, gonna be way better now. I would never want to keep you in here like this. I hate it. But we brought her home late e or early evening on that Saturday she came, so. Oh my sweet baby. My sweet little baby. Look at that lip. It's so cute. I love that little lippy. This is her favorite little itchy spot. Right up by her, almost by her pole. She loves that little spot. She loves it. Are you gonna walk out with me? Okay. Your face is super dusty. I'm sorry. Let me just get it. Uh, good. Good job. Let's, can I look at your teeth? I've never really even looked at them. Good twofer. Can you please just let me do that? Good twofers. All right, horse.
horse lovers, I'm going to try to walk her out by herself. If she doesn't do it, it completely makes sense why, but let's just see. Ready? Come on. Good girl. We're gonna just take it slow. Look at that, a whole new world. Good, come on. Follow me, I'll take care of you. Good girl! Whoa. Good! Yep, I'm still back here. Okay, let's go. To the outside. That's why you gotta pay attention. She doesn't know. Oh, the girl. Horses truly are unpredictable and it's not always rainbows and butterflies. So Miss Ariel has been in the stall. She has this pent up energy. She has no idea what's going on and she did not mean to do that. But horses are just that. They base everything off instinct and you just have to know what you're doing. We went to walk Ariel out in the paddock and she was doing so well when Kyle accidentally shut the gate too soon and it was so loud it spooked her. Don't, don't do it yet. Wait, wait. Kyle totally didn't mean to and luckily I was Sorry. able to hold on to her, but obviously this was not the ideal walk out into the paddock. However, we got it all under control and I wasn't mad. I was just scared that she was gonna get caught up in the rope or something. But then once the halter was off, the magic happened. Kyle's grabbing Bagheera right now. All right, girl, do your job. You go babysitter. Good job. Oh my God, Jiminy. So she's clacking right now saying she's just a baby. See, this is good. She knows there's other horses, but she just has chill Bagheera in with her. But Bagheera's also gonna teach her manners. She's kind of just like, yeah, give me my space, but I'm here for support. <laughs> Look at the geldings. They want to like bust down the gate, I swear. Bagheera was like, what? I didn't sign up for this again. Now you got two. <laughs> that is so funny. She fart crow up. Look at you, tell him who's boss, girl. Yeah. A reigning horse, there we go.
Let it out, Ariel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then Jiminy went absolutely bonkers. Hi. <laughs> He's all jazzed up. Oh, Mushu. Jiminy is just excited that there's a new horse and a new mare here. than the stall my heart is just so full knowing this came full circle that ariel was at the auction she was unhandled two and a half weeks ago and now she's out here happy healthy outside and she gets to see Belle and Ezzy and be with another horse, Bagheera, and will eventually meet Belle and Ezzy and be in the paddock with them and Bagheera and they'll all be together hi ariel You happy out here? Much better. Gosh, she's so beautiful and I just love her trot. Look at all of my girls here at Free Spirit Farm in one picture frame. They're so beautiful. What do you think, Ariel? What do you think, Val? Oh my gosh, Jiminy's acting like a dummy. He's so funny. Look at him. He's so mad that he can't be in there. You're fine. <laughs> Ezzy, what do you think? Is that exciting? So far, Ariel is doing great. She's just checking everything out. She's running just a little bit. She ate a little bit of hay. I'm so happy that she's out here. She's just absolutely gorgeous. I love how she moves. This is just fantastic. And Jiminy is just so funny. Good, she figured out the water trough. Good job. 
Oh, Jiminy, you goofball. You're being so silly. I know you get excited about new horses. Crazy. Elixir, really? Good boy, be nice. Good boy. Yes, you good boy. Mushy. Big old butt. I love how the other geldings are like, whatever, like Zazu. And Olaf, they're like, yeah, okay, it was exciting, but we're we're over it now. Ariel, you're doing so good. Can't lose you. Oh my gosh, Jimmy. <clears throat> you so excited about the newcomer, huh? You so excited. You get all your energy out. What do you think, girl? You excited? Hi. Is that a new friend for you? What do you think? You're so pretty. Hi, baby. Hi. Hi. What do you think? Now she's saying hi to Mr. Arlo, and then Jafar is walking up too. Oh, Jiminy wants all the attention. My goodness. They also have a salt block right there. So everything they need. I really hope you're enjoying this horse lover. Just seeing her out here, it just makes my heart so happy. Now she knows she's not gonna be stuck in a stall. There's other horses here. She's gonna have friends and freedom, a lot of fun. And I'm just gonna give her a few days to settle in before I even try handling her again. She needs to adjust and she deserves this time. Plus, like I said, I'm gonna get her in the other paddock with Belle and Ezzy in the next few days. And then later that afternoon, we had lessons. So Ariel got to see what we kind of do around here, which is great. She'll be able to have eyes on what goes on. You happy girl? See, I told you you'd be happier out here. Got all your hay. Bagheera's at the other end. Got all kinds of stuff here. I love seeing Ariel in the sunlight and just listening to her munch on hay. It is so peaceful. Here's 
just chilling over here. You good girl? Got the good stuff? Want some hay? Good girl. Good girl. Get a good girl. That's my good girl. That's my good girl. There she is. There she is. So horse lovers, I'm just gonna let her settle in here for a couple days and then I will introduce her to Esmeralda and Belle. So we'll see how that goes. But make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications so you don't miss anything Free Spirit Equestrian or any updates with Ariel. And I'll see you next time.